Hey there, this is Tim from Twice Circled, and welcome to episode 20 of the official Big Farmer video blog. It's been a little while, feels like it anyway. Um, it's nice to get back in the vlog seat, as it were, uh, and I'm here to bring you a new Big Farmer update. So in this latest update, we have custom games, a free build mode, and patterns to show you. Okay. Um, so let's just show you those straight away. I'm actually just going to show you, there's a few um, new options as well. Um, we've got a couple here. Some edge scroll and key scroll sensitivity. Oh, I know, exciting, right? And look at this. Don't get too excited. Okay, look, look, look. There's only one language, okay? But I do have some more information uh, for you, some news on that front for later in the vlog. Um, we have a currency symbol, so uh, we have this cool little neutral one. We have pounds, we have dollars, and we have yen. Uh, I'm going to play in yen today. Look, I know there's no euro. Uh, that's not because I'm discriminating. It's because the fonts, the, <laughs> the font atlases that I created for the game, uh, by default they didn't have the euro sign in, and I just, um, I've had so much to do to get ready for this update that I haven't been able to go back and remake all my font sheets, so I will be doing that eventually. But don't worry, kind of Euro guys, I'm not, uh, I'm not deliberately leaving you out. I'm just uh, doing it accidentally. Uh, and we have a few uh, cool new settings here. Um, one of them is to do with patents. So when a product is blocked due to a patent, we can do the same as with the product needing a name. We can auto-pause and focus, or we can just do wait for user, which means it comes in the top left. Uh, auto-pause and focus is kind of cool, kind of exciting. It just kind of jumps into the middle of the screen. You go, shit. Uh, we've got message when AI launches new product. You can now toggle these on and off, because I know you, there's an awful lot of these during the game, and a lot of the time you don't care what the pro uh, your AIs are doing. Maybe you only care when you go to the company tab and look for yourself. Um, uh, so you can now turn that on and off. I'm going to have it off in this game, so there's not so much coming up in the top left of the screen while I'm chatting. Uh, you can also turn on and off um, a new message when an AI completes a pattern. I'm going to have this one on because this whole vlog is really about patterns, so I want to know when they're doing that. And then finally, um, this one, I'm, I'm not sure if this is kind of um, the best way of doing it yet, but I'm going to try this out. So message on new world event. A world event is basically, you know, when there's like a bit of news, it will say like a volcano has erupted and there's a new demand for X and Y. And now what we can do is you can have all of them, you can have them off, um, or you can have player products only, which means only if this is actually affecting a product you're currently producing will it tell you. Now the problem with that is it won't tell you if there's a new opportunity to create a product which maybe you have access to. So you will have to keep an eye on the cure um, tab to not miss anything. I, I have some more ideas around that, but I will talk about that later in the show. Um, okay, so if you go to the new game menu, there's now... Uh, two new buttons up here, custom game and free build. Um, custom game, uh, I will show you in a moment. <laughs> Gonna keep the sus suspense. Uh, free build is a kind of, it's almost like a type of custom game, but I've already set it up for you so you don't have to do anything, where you have, it's a very special one, where you have unlimited money and you have access to all of the technology and there's loads of ingredients. Um, so if I jump into that right now, yeah, I'm always Chan, I'm always twice circled. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice is we have unlimited yen, um, which means that you can just buy as much stuff as you like. Um, the next thing is you start off with 15 ingredients, all there ready for you. Um, oh, that's interesting. Um, <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, so uh, I haven't tested this since changing a few things. Um, these don't have any side effects. Sorry, don't have any catalysts, uh, which they should do. Um, and it's because of the weird uh, kind of settings that I use for when they're starting ingredients, because because all of these count as starting ingredients. They um, they don't have any catalysts because I never have catalysts in starting ingredients. I would get that fixed for this batch. So when you play this, I promise you that won't happen. I will get that fixed. Um, Okay, one sec. <laughs> I'm just making a note. <laughs> Classic Tim making bug notes during his video. Um, okay, hopefully I will remember to do that. Yeah, I I'm sure I will. Okay, the next cool thing is you can see every single cure. 
from the very beginning. So if there's like a, a certain kind of build that you want to practice, um, but you don't want to have to worry about money, so you want to see kind of like how, what is the most compact way of building once you have access to everything um, of building male contraceptive, uh, and perhaps you want to know um, what's the you know the cheapest way you can make that given a certain number of upgrades. Um, so what I've done is you have all access to all the machines, but I've actually not upgraded them deliberately. So you can just buy loads of scientists. You've got unlimited money, so you can get loads and loads of upgrades if you want to. But I'm going to let you actually put them in, whereas what I could have done is started you with maximum upgrades, but I feel like uh, that's actually limiting the kind of creativity that you guys can can show here. Um, I, I expect the free build mode to be used mostly, partly as a kind of sandbox, you know, do whatever you want mode, but also as a kind of research mode. Because um, I think sometimes you, you don't want to have to kind of like grind your way up to a certain machine just to kind of test something out. Um, and perhaps, you know, what you would have done up until now is you'd have like a game saved where you had loads and loads of money and everything unlocked, but now you don't need that. Um, so that's kind of cool. And I've left out things like planning permission, advanced construction te techniques and outsourcing because all they do is change costs. If you can have them if you want to, you just, you know, get loads of scientists and get them. But I kind of wanted it to be as vanilla as possible. So there you go. Uh, and then finally, the last interesting thing to say is I've decided to, you know, make the cash flow statement actually work. So it does actually say how much cash we've spent so far on capital expenditure, even though we have unlimited money. Uh, and so, you know, I don't know, you might want to, you know, design a couple of production lines and then see how, what the operating margins are like. What, how is your money being sp um, spread across in ingredients, processing, explorers, whatever, scientists. Um, uh, oh, and I've disabled loans. But so you can see that I've, I've tried to make it as much like the normal experience as possible, except with a, a few shortcuts where you have unlimited money and loads of ingredients and um, all the research. Uh, that's all I'm going to show you so far on that. So now we can hop into the custom game, which is, well, how do I describe it? I've basically tried to expose every single possible setting <laughs> that I can in the game. You can change how many competitors you have in the game. You can set uh, victory conditions for yourself. You can even change the starting research and you can disable research. Um, and this disabled research will count for the AI as well. So you can actually have a you know design a kind of really interesting interesting game um and i'll show you those settings in a minute i'm just making another note actually okay um so what game am i going to play today well i'm not going to bother actually no i do need competitors what am i talking about i need competitors because i want to show you the um patents and we need competitors to make patents point uh give a point to patents God, that sounds like a tongue twister. Uh, starting research, I'm going to just start with the basic, you always start with a pill maker, um, forest research, evaporator and dissolver. But I'm going to add to that, patents. So that we all start with patents. This should make it interesting, shouldn't it? I'm not going to bother with victory conditions because I'm not that bothered. Um, let's go for a 2 by 4 map, just for fun. So, so you can kind of slide these things up and down. Um, 4x4 four four is the biggest you can go to, let's go for 2x4, um, event frequency, yeah we'll go for normal, loan interest rates normal, so, so what I suggest when you're designing these things is yeah start at the bottom, um, yeah we'll just go for free randoms, free normal, um, you can set um, the player that you want to play against, you can't play against two, two of the same guys, you can't play against two Leonards, um, and if you choose a player that you've set here you'll just overwrite it and it will get turned into random. So if I set it to Leonard and then I play as Leonard, you know, you can't ever have the same player twice because the only reason I've done that actually is because uh, of colours, is you're all different colours and I, I want it, the competitors to all be colour coded for various things in the game. But yeah, so when, what I suggest when you're designing your custom games is what what you get kind of here is is basically playing on the advanced scenario, right? So you know those back on the main menu, there's five challenges under the advanced scenario. That's what I kind of that's the way the game is meant to be played right that's the basic kind of game if you like beginner and intermediate you're kind of given a hand uh, because all of the cure profit margins are increased um, which makes a massive difference um, so what what you've got here is the basically that the way the game is meant to be played with kind of like 
you know, average difficulty. And what you can do is just tweak a few things um, to either put the difficulty up or down, or you even just move it sideways. Things like changing the event frequency doesn't actually increase or decrease the difficulty. It just makes things uh, change a bit more. Whereas um, there's actually a note over each of these sliders, and if you go over, sorry, cure uh, profit margins, yeah, it says that this setting is the most direct way to change the difficulty and length of the game. High cure margins make it easier to make money quicker, uh, while low margins make it more difficult to make a profit and will make for a slower paced game. So, um, you know, yeah, these, this is very obviously change of the difficulty, whereas, yeah, like I say, events, uh, frequency is, is more neutral. Um, and I would, I would say, yeah, only tweak a few settings when you're starting out, because I can imagine you can kind of break the game pretty easily. Certainly by disabling too much research, you can probably disable the game. Like, if you do disable evaporators and dissolve, uh, sorry, uh, agglomerators and ionizers, you'll actually cut off so many of the cure upgrade paths. And here's the thing, right? I offer you no warranties, no guarantees that any game that you make with the custom game mode will be fun. <laughs> I think it's possible to make very fun games with it, for sure. But I don't guarantee that any game you make it with it will be fun. You can break Big Pharma using this, not permanently, but for a particular, for a certain game. So be very careful, uh, and... Or don't be careful, but just, you know, just realise that the game might be a little broken and you might have to quit and come back in. I'm not saying it will be buggy, but what I'm saying is that you just, like, won't be able to maybe even achieve the objectives that you set for yourself. Um, anyway, what are we going to do for this one? So we've got a patent, which is cool. Um, I actually am tempted to put cure margins up because that would make for a quicker game. Wait, no, let's, is there other ways we can make games quicker? Let's make research quicker. Um, so let's put research speed and exploration speed to twice. Um, let's start with an extra ingredient. I actually don't want to have too many ingredients to kind of compress the game down so that I'm kind of competing more with, um, my, 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 with the AIs. Let's just go for seven. Um, all the catalysts, normal amount of catalysts, but let's only go up to desert. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Yeah, let's go up to Arctic. Um, the number of, the maximum number of ingredients, um, is, uh, sorry, not starting ingredients, what am I doing? Uh, the number of ingredients here, uh, is actually, like, varies based on, um, which locations you include. So if you include all of them, you can have up to 15. But if you have, um, desert, it's only 13, and if it's forest, it's only 7. Um, so for Arctic, let's have, yeah, 7 ingredients, normal amounts of catalyst and side effects, um, yeah, it's definitely going to be the game's going to be easier with these hard, fast research speeds. We could counter that by putting up salaries, but I'm not going to do that. Um, higher costs, let's leave them the same. Let's not change too much. Uh, starting money, no, let's start with 50. That's fine. Oh, uh, maybe 75. I do want to show you some patterns, and patterns are kind of expensive. All right, let's go. Oh, I didn't show you the saving in the load. Wait, oh, I think if I go back here, I don't think that'll work. I probably should make that work. Okay, I'm going to make another note. Uh, make. Um, okay. Uh, this is so me. <laughs> right, quickly. <laughs> right, okay. So, what I wanted to show you was the important export options. Basically, you can save map settings. Uh, and I recommend you actually do that quite regularly because it... It means that you can load them back up and then tweak them again if you didn't like the way it kind of turned out when you actually ran into the game. And it also means that you can go and ex uh, share them with your friends. So yeah, right now, you can now make a map, send it to a friend in an email. If they copy it into the maps uh, directory, which is actually next to your save directory, it's in like your user data folder. What is it? Um, God, I can't even remember the, the way it goes. Users slash whatever your name is. Then it's like local data app data, something like that, Big Pharma. Anyway, <laughs> when you save a map, it tells you the path that it saves to anyway. Right, let's go. Okay. Two by four. This is a weird map size. <laughs> okay, let's build stuff. Uh, because we're going to patent everything. Let's let's quickly make this, this gout medication and patent it. It's probably a terrible idea because... Uh, it's got a side effect. <laughs> but I want to show you how patents work. 
And this is actually going to be quite a quick vlog because i got to get somewhere. Okay, let's put it on. Extra speed. Um, let's patent something else as well. Uh, okay, the warts is actually... I actually chose like, the worst one, didn't I? I'm such an idiot. Why do I always do... Name. I should just put it on auto name. Yeah, I'm going to put it on auto name. Just because, you know, I'm not trying to show off naming in this particular vlog. Um, how much money do we have? Huh, wait. Did I start with extra money? Oh, I don't know. Did I put my money up? I feel like I must have. Right. They haven't built anything yet. I am faster than them. Okay. 20,000. Okay, you know what? Let's just pause this so I can show you it. I forget. Okay, so... In this custom game, I've made it so we started with patents. Um, when you get... When you unlock patents, um, this, this column will always be there as long as patents aren't disabled. By the way, you can disable patents just by adding it as a disabled re uh, research thing. Um, so if you don't like it as a mechanic, you can just get rid of it. Um, you have this column here, and then... Um, this shows you the state, status of the patent, and so if one of your competitors has a patent in that um, uh, covering your thing, it will show, and it will, sh it, will, it will show that it's kind of got a little padlock on it, and it will be locked. And likewise, when you have it, you can see that you can kind of stop your your com uh, competitors from having it. When you click on it, it brings up an, uh, a patent dialog. Um, this patent will cover any pill with the following active effects. Prevents gout and causes constipation. So a patent covers uh, the type and then the active effects. It doesn't matter about the concentration directly, only which active effects are there. And if you use the shaker to change the order of the active effects or the centrifuge, it won't make a difference. It's, it's just whether they're present. But if you change the concentration or you remove a side effect, um, or you, so if you change the concentration to deactivate a side effect or if you remove a side effect, then that will you can kind of get round a patent that way. I'm just going to go for a, a quick one. Um, I could go for a two-year duration. In fact, all the way up to six years, but it costs more and more. I mean, two years is actually quite a good um, kind of cost to duration. Yeah, you know, actually, no. Let's just go for a quick one. It doesn't matter. I'm just trying to. I want to just patent everything and stop my competitors from building them. Uh, this is, it's probably not a good strategy what I'm doing because I, I think it's too, uh, it's too easy for them just to go and get a different, you know, get one of these. Um, although there aren't that many, eh, there's not that many ingredients, are there? These are probably full of side effects, uh, sorry, catalysts. Oh no, interesting, not actually, that doesn't even have one. Huh. Interesting. So now we have to wait for our patents to come through. We're already 12% through. So the, the quicker the, like the, the, the shorter the duration of the patent, the quicker it is to apply for it. Okay, how much money do we have? 5,000. Should we just, let's get a loan. <laughs> okay, I want to patent everything. Um, okay, all right, okay, like, so we've started a patent on this. We don't actually know whether he's started his own patent. For all we know, I, I think it's unlikely. But for all we know, Barclay's already started his own patent because you can't actually see the progress. I can't actually remember. I did have a debug setting on where I could see the progress. Okay. <laughs> okay, as if by magic. So I have left on the debug setting where I can see um, competitor patent progress. But that's kind of cool because it means it's going to allow me to kind of show you what's kind of going on. Because this isn't really a proper game. I'm just going to have some fun seeing if I can kind of mess the AI up with patents. Um, obviously, when you play, you won't actually be able to see um, how far your competitors are through patents. So you might start a patent, and then they might actually finish theirs before yours. Um, and you've also got to um, keep that in mind when you're choosing which duration of patent to go for, because the longer it is, the longer it will take for you to apply. Um, the other thing to bear in mind when choosing which patent to go for or which duration to go for, as well as the price, um, is... Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, is the fact that when a patent is... Uh, com uh, sorry, when a patent expires, it goes 
um, into a state called off patent in kind of quotes. And what that means is anybody can then make that. Anybody is allowed to make a generic version of that um, pill. And the, the difference between that and something that's never been patented is that you can never patent it again. So, you know, you might have made this super thing and you ha decided not to patent it because no one is trying to make it too. So you can just make it for as long as you want. And the moment that you see that someone does is, is starting to encroach on your territory, you could then, there we go, clapping. <laughs> Uh, you might then choose to patent it, um, and um, so, so, so what I'm getting at is, is when you choose the duration of patent, it might seem like a great idea to always go for the really quick patent because it only takes a few months. Look at, um, but the thing is, once you've done it, you only get one shot of doing a patent, and so you uh, you don't want to kind of like you might want to save up and get that really long one because that will kind of keep it protected longer because you'd be surprised how quick a year goes. It's the first game, we're already halfway through a year and the patent takes three months to apply for and then it only takes a year to expire, you know? So a one-year one looks great, but it's not maybe as good as you think. Um, I've just paused it there because we're about to finish our patent and then um, he's going to have to sell all, all his production lines and stop making cough medicine, um, which is good because I think he's actually driving down. Yeah, look at this. He's massively oversaturated. In fact, look, everybody is. Everybody's making cough medicine. I'm, the, I'm only making 30, right? So there's, you know, there's um, all three of these AIs are going like crazy on the cough medicine. Um, and it's driving down my price. It's come down from, you know... Um, a part of this is the seasonal effect, but just over 100 down to 80, that's knocking 20 off my thing per day. Well, watch what happens when we finish our patent. Tick. There we go. Clap, 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 clap. Um, patent owned by you. So now it shows you. Um, in fact, look, <laughs> I own all the patents. And you can see that the sold per month is slowly coming down. That means they can't actually um, make any of this anymore. It just... Um, it takes time for the, you know, this is the average sold, in, not the average, this is the amount sold in the last month, and so, obviously, the, these numbers are still, um, that you know, he still sold some in the last month, even though he's not able to sell anymore, um, and then, eventually, they'll, they'll get wiped off. Um, so, we actually have patented everything <laughs> that it's possible to make. Now, this seems like, oh, my God, that's so easy. Like, you just patent everything. This game's so easy. The thing is, though, I've spent 60,000 yen on these patents, on things that are making me, <laughs> like, $17. Um, you know, I think now I should just whack all of my production into cough um, medicine because that's that's making me the most. Um, let's stop this and switch that into cough. Um, and do we have enough money? I got a loan, didn't I? Cough medicine. Um... And I'll show you in a second the graph, and you'll see that the price of the cough medicine would have gone way up again. Um, mm. uh, this is an awkward shape. Mm. Ah, why is this so hard? Hey, hey, I did it! You proud of me, guys? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we still have one over here and one over here. Is it worth connecting them up? Yeah. Why not? Okay. So look. It's started to bounce back. We're obviously making a bit more of it now, but at least it's not saturated anymore. Um, and that's really, really tasty. That's really cool. Um, total rubber 54. So how much? This is making me 44 a month. No, it's a day. 365 days in a year. Times those two together. Um, and it's about 12. Yeah, about coming up to 15,000 uh, yen over a year. So, you know, we can now say categorically... No, actually, I was going to say, sorry, it's not worth it, but it is worth it, sorry, because, but now I'm making not just one a day, I'm making, well, wait, how many am I making a day? Is it all of my lines now? 
no, that one's still making warts. That's fine. Um, so I'm making one, two, three, four a day. So that's more like 50,000 yen. So, you know, that pa particular pattern is probably going to pay for itself. But then again, you know, maybe I could have just competed with everybody else instead of, you know, knocking them out the market. And to a certain extent, what you're doing with patents is, yeah, you're giving yourself a bit more of, of an advantage, but you're also paying money to screw other people over, which is, which is kind of cool, but at the same time, it's, it's not always the right business decision. I mean, gosh, I have, I have really screwed these guys over. <laughs> you know, it's just occurred to me that actually there is a bit of a problem. You see, I told you I, you could break the game. I mean, luckily, uh, Barclays managed to break out, but I think you're not really meant to get patents so early. And when you have, when you start with patent research, it does make it very easy to screw AIs over because they have these kind of algorithms, which mean they don't really like to research things unless they're making enough profit to cover their research. Um, so they will find it quite difficult to actually break out of, you know, these initial things. Um, this one needs a catalyst, and these two need agglomerators and ionizers, and they won't really want to make those, research those, until they have uh, enough profit to cover these. So I do think this is a p possibly a way. What I've just done possibly breaks the AI. So you've been warned. You know, I will try and make the AI get around it. Um, and one of the things I want to add is make the AI if they've got a lump of cash then to like not worry about not having enough money enough profit to cover the cost of researchers especially if they can't actually make anything like he's <laughs> i mean like they're not making anything this guy is you know he's see he's doing better than me in many ways um with 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 this 89 dollar one rather than my kind of triple patented thing here <laughs> oh this is fun uh, what did I want to say? I wanted to say something else. Oh yeah, one of the things I'm thinking of doing is having on the cure map is having um, the events. Instead of having, there we go, look, event, tobacco tax increase. So look, I didn't even realise, but because I've turned events off, that um, my the number of people who are who have got coughs is going to really start to decrease because people are stopping, to, stopping smoking. Um, and so what I think I almost need is like a little pling, uh, a little... Um, exclamation mark in a circle in the corner which says when it's being affected by an event and you click on it and it shows you like the event message and then maybe that goes away uh, and and the nice thing about this is I wouldn't have to worry about it filling up your message bar quite so much and at the same time that would allow me to maybe have more um, more events um, because I wouldn't be so worried about, yeah, filling up your message bar. And I think more events could make the game feel a bit more dynamic uh, and more interesting, which would be cool. Um, yeah. Cool. What do I want to do next? I mean, do we want to screw, <laughs> screw over Barclay again by making... Um, I would actually like to make some money. I haven't actually researched anything yet. I spent all my money... Aha! Oh, of course, but <laughs> of course, but I did actually put it on the 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 mode where it tells you the event if it affects one of your products. Um, obviously, our, our advisors were a little slow to notice what had happened on this case. Uh, don't worry, that's not a bug. That's deliberate. Uh, you uh, you don't. It only tells you about the event kind of after it's kind of started to take effect. Um, so yeah, those things are all going down. Shame. I'm so used to cheating in this game. I'm like, what do I do when I've actually got to make money? When I say cheating, I've got like a load of debugging keys which allow me to, uh, you know, not bother playing the game properly. I guess I'll just make more cough medicine. Wait, have I saturated it yet? In fact, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna actually call this a day soon. I've been talking for about half an hour. I haven't quite saturated that, and I've shown you everything I wanted to show you. Um, obviously, I would like to show you a longer game, but I, I've got to actually go. I've got to be somewhere. Um, besides, I need to actually finish this patch off and fix all those bugs that I found so that you can play this. Because um, today is the day I told you I'd release it. Uh, and it's currently 6 o'clock in the evening and I haven't released it yet. So uh, I'm probably talking to you from only about, I don't know, maybe 6 hours behind where you are right now. Um, hope that is if I manage to get it out today. Fingers crossed I do. There's those researchers. Okay. So we could make... Go on, let's quickly make that just for fun. Um, I need, like this, is the asthma the one that Barclay's making? I kind of want to, 
Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him. <laughs> oh no, I don't actually have enough money to. I'm gonna, I'll just get more loans. <laughs> loans are the answer to all of our problems. Oh, I've got this wrong. We got this right. Yeah. There we go. Now hopefully I can make enough money with this. Huh, that's interesting. Can't actually click on that bubble. Bugs. More bugs. I'm going to actually quickly save the game and see if I can reproduce that. You can see all my debugging test saves. Uh, okay. Oh, we don't need I've got loads of loans, didn't I? So I can patent that now. Oh, so here's the thing. I'm glad I cut that in. With patents, you actually have to uh, upgrade them to uh, to be able to, up to patent things of a higher level. So all patents cost the same amount, but your, your lawyers need to be a little bit more smart if they're going to patent higher level stuff. So even level two, you need to put in a single upgrade point. And then you need to put in two more upgrade points to get to level three. Um, and then the upgrades kind of change a little bit, uh, which you'll see when you play. But that's enough for us to patent this. Um, and the AIs will patent stuff. Now, um, the final thing I will um, talk about is is the AIs do definitely need some work, especially when it comes to patents. Uh, their patent strategy is probably not ideal. They don't get around patents very effectively. Uh, in fact, that's one of the things I really need to teach them to do is is just to just to try more things to see if something's profitable. You know, try removing side effects, that sort of stuff. It's very limited what they do at the moment. Uh, they currently work in a very analytical way, but what I'm going to do is switch them towards a bit more of a kind of brute force approach. Uh, a bit how kind of chess um, AIs work, to my knowledge, um, where they they just analyze n like hundred, hundreds of combinations of things. And then, oh, look at this, my cough uh, patents come off patent. My cough medicines come off patent, and now anybody can make it. So that's a good point, actually. So you can't actually completely stunt the AIs, because stuff goes off patent, and then they can make it again. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Um, look at this. There's no money in my cough medicine now. I made two different types of cough medicine. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I'm going to switch to a, a more kind of brute force approach where they just try lots of different things and then, then look at it afterwards and go, well, what's the result? How, how good is the result? So, so examples of that are things like, you know, try removing side effects, try different concentrations, um, and hopefully you'll get AIs which would just seem a little bit more dynamic and well, they would seem a little bit cleverer, even though actually what I'm doing is making them a little bit more dumb um, and making up for that with processing power. And I will... End this video blog here. Uh, I will just wait for this pattern to complete. Oh, that's it. I'll, I'll finish with some news. I part of the reason I've delayed this update. I actually wanted to get it out last week. Um, was because I have now hit text lock, which is when um, I am no longer going to change any of this text in the game. That's all locked, and we've sent it off to the translators. So we're getting the game translated. I can now confirm into French and German. And it's a really big uh, milestone to hit text lock, and I've been working frantically to get there. Um, hey, hey. Sorry, Barkley. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Uh, because, yeah, I can't add any more text to the game. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, oh, what? Is that it? There's nothing else going to be added to the game before release. Well, while we are fast approaching release on Steam, and version 1.0, I have actually snuck in a load of extra text for a couple of extra features, which um, I've not really talked about yet. And they will be coming in the next couple of weeks. And uh, yeah, so I've got a very clear idea now of what's going to be in the game uh, in due course. And uh, now it's just about hooking it all up and uh, implementing those new features, polishing things up, 
give the AI a final little little go, AI, and uh, and then releasing it. So thank you for watching. That's it for this time. And go grab the latest patch. And let me know what you think of patents. And do let me know what you think about the custom game mode. While I've said I don't um, expect every game to be balanced, um, that's not my problem. But what is my problem is if there, there's bugs, and I'm sure there will be. So, you know, there's no way for me to test every single combination of stuff. So I'm sure in certain combinations the game will break. So please let me know um, on the forum is best, or you can email me, uh, contact at twicecircle.com. Uh, the forums uh, at you can get to it via um, the main website and then there's a little bar at the top and click forum um, and uh, yeah I really appreciate it if you put bug uh, bugs there that's uh, that'd be great and let me know what you think of the patents because uh, again I, I'm not sure if I've got it fully balanced there might be like strategies that are overpowered or underpowered as uh, as it were so yeah let me know what you think and thank you for watching and I'll see you next time